studying. Uh, the amount of weight I've lost is not what I expected. It's more, way more than what I expected, but that's good. I'm running a little bit more, getting some, you know, getting my legs back right. Still got my strength there, which is not too bad. Um, it's definitely tiring, cutting weight, eating less, you know, portion controlling, calorie controlling, staying in a caloric deficit. Um, trying to make sure I can keep this pace for the next six weeks, seven weeks ish, so that I, you know, don't start to plateau or burn out too fast, which is to be expected if I, you know, overexert myself or I'm not eating enough or I'm not getting enough rest. So I just have to be prepared to either slow down and eat a little bit more to have some more rest days. Because right now I've, I'm, in, I'm doing two rest days, sometimes just one rest day, depending on the week and what's going on and things that's you know, in the schedule. Um, I will say that I'm doing better than I thought I was going to be doing. So that's also a plus. Um, also, I'm not too sure what my goal weight is, but I know I want to lose enough to where I can get two to three miles in with running and not have to stop. So I'm at about a mile and a half. So that's not too bad so far, with, you know, three weeks in, not too bad. not used to trying to cut weight so the, the lifting I'm doing is different less weight doing more reps of things eating a little bit better I was already eating kind of healthy for the most part now I've been dipping into the you know plant-based stuff a little bit more than I usually do more fruits more veggies juices we have just straight vegetable juice fruit juices no sugars things like that um, I'm trying my best to make sure I don't miss a day or, you know, miss a post-session recording, even though I do frequently. So I'm like my third one that I have, but that's okay. One day at a time. I also want to, I don't know, maybe get a tripod because I have a small gimbal, but that ain't, you know, going to cut it. So I got to get a larger tripod to actually record certain things and maybe throw some motivational things together, some some cuts together. That's ambulance and sure if sounds good. Um, but uh, yeah, I want to, you know, because I know some people said the videos I put out are motivational for them, et cetera, et cetera, but it's a lot more so for me and myself, my my mental, you know, a constant, a constant reminder of, hey, you were here at one point, you know, now you're here and you want to get there. You want to get to this point. You want to get to the next point, the next, you know, place. So it just takes some time to adjust and keep myself consistent because motivation can come and go. But if you're consistent, it'll in my head, if you consistent, it'll keep you going more than motivation, because you can lose motivation. But consistency and determination to get to your goal, my goal, I should say, is what keeps me going. Outside of you know, just overall wanting to be healthier and extend my life, especially with me, you know. <laughs> if you know, you know. Birthday just passed, so if you know, you know. It's a battle every day. It's a challenge every day. I look forward to it every day. I just have to not let myself slack and not be too hard on myself. So I have to find my middle ground again because I was bulking for like three years. So I'm kind of excited to see what's underneath all of the bulk and what can, you know, where I can go and what I can improve on. Once 
once I get down to see what's underneath everything. But I'll catch y'all again probably next week or the next round. Just one day, one lift, one session at a time, one step at a time.